and they're in line with the patella. Coming up, think about the legs nice and strong. Yeah, so the connection is good to the thighs. Then take your mind around into the glutes of your muscles. Place your hands just onto your glutes. Yeah. Give them a little tense, yeah, a little bit of tension there. Not too much. Good connection, okay? You can feel them, can't you? Yes. Yeah? Strong, powerful muscles. We get powerful muscles in our body. Okay. From there, keep them up, keep them locked on, and then just take your hands down at the side of you. I want you now to think about this powerhouse. And I want you to think from hip bone to hip bone that your abdominals are nice and strong and braced. It doesn't mean like sucking your belly button into your spine yeah, and not being able to breathe. It just means a nice, firm, braced Can I give this to lift the shoulders up? Take them down and through. Look over your right shoulder and then turn and then over to your left shoulder. Okay, come to centre. Just close your eyes if you need to. You just take some nice deep breaths. Start with some nasal breathing. So breathe in, in through the nose and out through the nose. And think about as you're taking your in breath, taking the air into the sides of your lungs, yeah, and the sides of the rib cage and around the back of the body. Breathe it, keeping the abdominals nice and strong. The lovely nasal breathing, lateral diaphragmatic breathing, vertics. Okay, well, now from here, I just want you to, if you put your eyes closed, just open your eyes and just keep the breathing going. Yeah? Keep your abdominals nice and strong. Just look around on the shoulders. It's lovely just to breathe and recalibrate. You yeah? know, I get everything back into perspective. Like that word. Okay, and again. Let's lever through the arms. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. And again, round and through. And again, round. So I'm lifting the rib cage, yeah? So feel the rib cage lift as you go around. Okay, let's do both arms. So breathing in and breathing out. And again, breathing in and breathing out. From here, circle the arms around in front of you up to the top and down, yeah? Around we go and make the cross in front of me and then around, one more time. Round and through and then back and down. Place the hands and the arms has come up into a front raise. Open out through the chest and then come in and down. So I'm not rushing any movement today, yeah? Nice and slow and controlled. Now as you take the arms back, I don't want you to squeeze the shoulders up, yeah? Think about lengthening the shoulder to the end of the spine, keep the shoulders down. Okay, now we're going to go back and go on to three. The three little pushes. One, two, three. So think about the scapula coming together. You can see your lift up. Squeeze back. One, two, and three. In and back. Give me a side bend right. So push down towards the knee and then down to the other knee. And then again. Down and through, and then the other side. Now, stand it nice and tall. Now, take the right arm up and over and push over to your left side. There, I want the stretch to show you here in this area. Okay. This stretch is in the QL muscles, just at the bottom of the ribs on the other side. It just attaches into the top of the body. So this can become really, really tight. All right, so QL, vibratus lumborum. Stretching through. So if you wake up in the morning and feel stiff in the lower back, do it this lovely stretch. Okay. From here, ladies, take your arms up so your elbows are nice and wide. I want you to turn around over to your right side and then over to your left side. And again, I can around to my right, through, and then around. Now I'm going to go into a little dip. I'm just going to dip down onto my right and then dip down onto my left. And again, over we go down onto the dip. And then to the other side and then to the right. Okay, give me a knee raise and then knock it off. A little knee raise. Bring your knee up. So just about hip height. If you find this too difficult, then just toe tap. Tap into a little toe tap. Up to you. So lift and lower. You can make two more. One, 
and then two. Now go into a lateral abduction. And we go back to this. Push and lift. So it's not a kick here. You've seen that. And lift through. So abduct the hip away. And again. Up and through. Two more. And this line nice and long. And always remembering the brace those abdominals. Give me a big push. In. So I'm just leaning into it. I'm picking up my leg and just leaning into it slightly. I'm squeezing those glutes. Remember that connection that we started with. Give me two more. One. And then two. Stand up nice and tall. Give me a front raise. Both arms. So breathe in and breathe out. And again. So breathing in and breathing out. Okay, on the next one, I want you to push the pelvis back. So you're going to down into a little squat and lift. Let me show you on the side. Okay, down into squat and lift. Down to squat and lift. Give me one more. Down into squat and lift. Come into some pelvic tilting. I want you to push the pelvis forward and then take it back. Yeah? So sideways again. So you're coming up forward into an anterior position and then into a posterior. But notice the shoulders, they're not moving. Back, and then back. And again, so lifting up and through, and then take it back. And again, up and through, and back. Give me two more. We're going to find our neutral position. Yeah, one more time. In front, and then into the back. Now come into the centre, yeah, to your centre position. About everything alignment, shoulders, bones, knees, and ankles. Brace the abdominals, keep the arms back, float them back. One, two, and three. Go back in and close down. And again, I'm going to come up and squeeze back. Nice, gentle movement. No difficult choreography. Over to the side. Over we go. And through. And again. And throw. Now go into your knee raise of your opposite arm. And then the knee. Two more. And lightly place the foot down into the abduction. There's not a kick to control the movement. So I'm working the body in all three connected movements. And then we go back. And that is extension. And instead of squat, I'm going to come down into a curtsy. Down to curtsy, and then the other side. Down to curtsy. And again, two, one. So I'm just crossing one foot behind the other. And nice and tall. So the legs are out and wide, a little bit wider than hip distance. Now lift up the right arm and push over. Right? And then over to the other side. Remember, stretching up. And go as far as you can. Two more. So one. And last time. And two. I want you to bring the arms forward into a front raise. Get a front raise and lower. Now we're going to go into some squatting. So we're going to sit back. We're going to come down into a little seat and then lift up. Yeah? So think about taking your seat down and lifting back up. So we're working, we're thinking about what's happening. Think about these big muscle groups here, yeah? So into the quadriceps, or into the hamstrings, or into the glutes. And all of my weight is down into my heels, yeah? So I'm pushing back. And a lot of people say, oh, it hurts my knees when I squat. So if it hurts your knees when you're squatting, you're doing more of that. You see the difference, yeah? You see when I'm pushing the load into my knee. When I come back, totally different, yeah? So my work is going through the glutes. So the glutes can become really lazy. And when we squat, a lot of the times we don't actually use our glutes properly. So now think about, as you come up, squeeze the glutes in, yeah? To so really lock them on now. Down, squeeze and in and back, yeah? And again, push. Squeeze in, totally different feel, isn't it? And again, down and lift up. Okay, there you are. Take your arm over, over the top, and then again over the top. Lovely. Place the arms out, circle round, and do that again. Okay. 
Now, leave the arms open and turn the palms up. Okay, legs are wide. And then turn around to your right side. And then over to your left side. And again, go around to your right. And then over to your left. Placing the hands down onto the thighs. And just give me a little roll down there, okay? I'm going to go into a cat cow with a wide, so the pelvis is open. So I'm in a wide squat position, and I'm just going to come up into my cat position. Yeah, so I flex the spine, and I come into my cat, and then I come into my cow. So you can see the difference in the two. So I come up into my cat, flex the spine, abdominals in and up, and then come away. Two separate movements. So up we go into cat, and then through. Okay, drop the chin to the chest. Throw it all the way up, guys. Bring your feet in about hip distance apart. Take your shoulders back and down. Look about the right shoulder, and then over to the left. And again, over to right, and then to left. Then circle around the right arm. The nice big circles. Yeah? And we go. And really set, think about sweeping the hairline. Sweep through. And take both arms up into the front raise. And then open to the chest. One, two, three, and then two, and back there. And again, so front raise up. We open the chest for three. One, two, three. And then come back in and down. Now give me my side bend. So I come into my side bend, and then the other side. So Lovely lateral bend, right side, and then left side. Okay, so go into that little knee bend combination. So go into the knee raise. Two more. Remember that's just keeping everything nice and slow and controlled side. It's that abduction. You don't have to come up too high. It's not about the height that you're coming up yet. It's about the abduction of the hip. Oh, and then push back. Push. But two more, and we're going to go into that little curtsy, into that right and left. Okay, so there we go. Just one, two, and three, and four. Okay, so now your legs are moving. Open up your arms, and then just turn. Go around to the right side, and then around to the left. And again, around to my right, and then around to my left. The legs nice and wide, place the arms down at the side of you, and just roll down. Hands on top, just on top of your thighs, and then come into your cat stretch. Back into your cat, and then screw into your cow. Let's think about pushing how we back. So up and under, tuck the tailbone down and through. Dominals in nice and tight, and then come away into your cat. One more time. Back into the cat, and then through. Okay, ladies, we're going to come back up to the top. So we're going to just drop the chin and we just roll it up. Don't we always come up vertebrae by vertebrae? Stack the spine, come up to the top and take your shoulders back and down. Let's roll down all the way now. So we're going to drop head, shoulders, and then just looking down towards my feet. Bending my knees. Yeah, just bending my knees slightly rather than just having them straight. Just a little bend there. And come down, as, and if you can't get to the floor, that doesn't matter. Three days ago, I couldn't. <laughs> then inhale, exhale, and then roll it back up. Back's been a little bit stiff this week. And then shoulders back and down. Okay, let's do that again. So let's roll it down. And there we go. Inhale, exhale, and then we back. And then we'll do this back. And as I bring my shoulders back and down, I'm just going to loosen off. I'm going to take my arms up and lower. And lower. Place my hands down at the side of me to begin with. Place your right foot forward with your heel down as if you were in a deep position. Close to the And then push back. So I'm just going to show you sideways. I'm stretching out my right hamstring. Yeah, so my toes are up, pushing my pelvis back. So the further I push back, the deeper the stretch. Hold it there a couple of seconds. Okay, 
and we'll come back up and then face up to the feet and then we're going to do it on the other side so onto my left side so heel down toe up yeah see the toe come down and then just press back so the further i'm pushing back feet for the stretch yeah And hold this for about 20 seconds. That's it. Then you're going to roll it up and then you're going to place that foot back in. You're going to open out the arms. And you're just going to come forward and then open back. Ripple forward and open. Last two. Close the chest and open back. Close and open. Now take the right arm over the top of the head to reach over to the left arm and then do the same on the other side. And again, so lifting up and over, nice deep breaths, and over we go. Okay. Switch the palms, the palms up to ceiling, and then just the rotate. And to your right side, if you need to come forward a little bit, then do so. Two more. One. And then two. Out the centre, you stretch out the rear part of the shoulders. I'm going to bring my right arm across my body. And I'm going to take my left arm through just to hold on to the elbow. And I'm going to push down. Yeah, I'm going to bring my arm into my chest. Right? And straight away, that movement, I feel it down into the deltoid, back into the shoulder. That's where you should be feeling it. Then I'm going to release my arms. I'm going to interlink my hands. I'm going to press behind, so I'm going to open my chest. There. Now, not only just you opening the chest, you're feeling it right through the top of the shoulders as well, through the anterior deltoids. Then I'm going to release my hands. Then I'm going to take my left arm across my body, and then my right arm, and then I'm going to push in, yeah? If I was to alter the position of the arm into this position, you change by changing the angle, you change the stretch within that deltoid. So just keep it center across the chest. Bring your hands together, interlink your hands, interlink your fingers, and then just dropping your chin, yeah? Yes. Then rounding off my upper back. So my stretch is going right the way through the top area of my back into my rhomboids, into my traps. And it's like I've got somebody here that I'm hugging. Then I'm going to release. I'm going to take it up to the top, taking fingers up, push, and then take it back. Yeah, so going into that shoulder stretch again. So if you've been stiff in upper body, be a lovely little stretch workout today. I'm going to release my hands down. I'm going to bring them through. I'm going to sweep and I'm going to take it back up. And again, so I'm going to come down and sweep. And last two. Let it go. And one more time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then come. Take your hands down at the side of you, and then we're going to roll down together. Just roll it down. Bend your knees. Now, just allow the arms to hang there a moment, and then just take your arms over to your right side, and then across the body, and over to your left side. Really good. Just allow the blood to travel down to the head, right from the arm in the body. And then back to the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, rolling your mats out. We're going to go down. Make sure you've got enough room, as much as you can have had in your homes. Hold to your slightly. I'd like you to come at the side of your mat. We're going to do some side lying work today. But when you come down onto your mat, I want you to roll onto your side, onto your um, 
from onto your right side, okay? So roll over onto your right side. Make sure you're facing the camera. So from here, roll down. Roll it. Walk your hands away from you before I come down to the back. I just want to go into my car stretch. Go into my car stretch. Hold it there. You're trying to keep your heels as low as you can towards the mat. I'm going to walk my hands away from me. I'm going to come into that position. And I'm going to come down slowly, slowly down onto the mat. Slowly down, slowly, slowly. And I reach the bottom. Then I'm going to turn over and face you. Right? So really, it doesn't matter what legs you're using. You're going to use both sides anyway. But just obviously make sure that you're looking at the camera. To begin with, let's place our head onto our bicep. Yeah? So rather than this, which can be quite um, uncomfortable for the neck, if you prefer it, you don't like lying down flat, then don't do that. Right? So bring the hand and um, arm away. Feet. Together, okay, so like keep them together and then lift them away from the mat. Face this other arm and just take it up, take it up away from you. And then I'm going to open into a clam and close. So I'm opening into abduction and closing. Well, what's happening? Let's have a check. We've got our hips stacked on top of one another, so I'm not rotating. My spine is long and it's comfortable. My head is down constantly on. And lift it up. And lower down. Hold on to me. And then lift it up. And lower. I'm going to bring this arm down in front of me. And I'm going to lower my feet. I'm going to extend my top leg. And I'm going to flex my foot. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to lower down. Flexing the foot and lower. So, hip abduction, put my head in my hands and look at the foot. Hip abduction is when we're standing, we're the part of our standing. So, what we can do standing, we just break the head down to the mat. We're going to do some leg kicks here. So, we lift it and lower it. Again, there's no rush. Breathe in and breathe out. It's really important that your tummy is. Are nice and controlled, yeah. So you've really got some tension in there. Just because we're side lying doesn't mean we're relaxing down. The next thing I want you to think about, yeah, yeah your waistline. I always want you to think about peeling it away, yeah. So I'm not sinking into the mat, I'm not heavy in the mat. I'm light. I'm always going to get my fingers underneath. From okay. here, point the toe and bring it around in front. Foot and take it back. Now, as you take it back, you can come further back into that hip extension. Yeah? Point, peel forward, flex, take it back. And again, as far as you can. Point, and then flex. And again, point through, and then flex back. Love it. One more time. Point through, and flex. Hold it where it is, and in this circle, expect to move the circle. Yes, around we go. Again, keeping the hips back on top of one another, and you're just rotating. Doesn't matter which way you rotate, because whatever way you're rotating now, we're going to turn into it. So now I'll go around the other way to so move around. So this leg now should be feeling really heavy. Hold that there and give me eight pulses. One, two. This is how small that is. Three, four. Feeling the build up here. Five, should be. Six, if we're doing it properly. Seven, no cheating. Eight. Go back into that clam position and just give yourself a little bit there. Okay, guys, into a side plank. We haven't done this for a while. So I want you to lift yourself up. Bring yourself up where your, your shoulder in line with your elbow. Again, same position, into that clam position, and but my weight is down onto the mat. Okay. But what I want you to do, remember I spoke when we were lying down on the mat, I just want you to think about now pulling in, yeah? Nothing else, 
no, no taking your weight up, not yet. But just think about pulling the body away from the mat. Yeah? So this is, the, this is the difference. If I was just relaxing, I would look like this, yeah. And up, it's that um, di um, diagonal. Now, I'm coming up even further, yeah? The feeling it round into the waist muscles, yeah? Right away from into the waist muscles. Now, from there, if you want to join me, then you can come up, yeah? Get stacked on top of one another, and I'm into a side plank. Now, I can take my top leg away, I can take it out, or I can take it down to the mat. That is completely up to you, all right? You are taking it up, lower it and lift it. I want you to do the side lying, side plank, lower and lift. And one. Now we're going to bring it back down together. You can bring the knee in. Then you slowly, slowly come down onto the mat and then roll over onto your tummy. I want you to make a little pillow with the hands. Your head is down, legs are wide. Right? So legs are wide on that. And now I want you to just take that tension back into those glutes, yeah? Just from there. And then for, from this position, I just want you to raise your right leg and then raise your left leg. And again, so raise on the right. The head, so little pillow with your hands and head, forehead onto the hands. And as you're lifting and lowering, ladies, I want you to think about this, almost putting that belly button in, yeah? So you're not pushing your tummy down into the mat as you get lower. Two more. We're going to go into a child's pose. Lift and then lift. Maybe take your hands at the side of you. Push your body weight back and take it back into your child's pose. You're bringing your bottom down towards your heels. I'm going to come forward and I'm going to draw my hips down towards the floor, towards the mat, and then I'm going to push back into my child's pose. Lovely low back. And this child's pose, yeah, whenever we're exercising during the next 15 minutes, talk to you what the child's pose is. If you need to, use this as your rest and recovery position. Yeah, things this child. Then he's come up and through onto all fours. Bring your hands in line with your shoulders and your knees in line with your feet. And then on that position, I want you to raise up on the right arm and then down and onto the left side. I want you to then push the right leg away. Extend the right leg and then extend the left leg. Two more. Extend the right and then extend the left. Okay. Then we're going to extend the right arm and the left leg. One. The other side. Got the broom. And three, extend, and lower, and then you want to make extend. Come around into a seated position. You'll sit that nice and tall. That nice and tall. Knees are parallel, yeah, and there we are in line with the seat. Place my hands just underneath, yeah, just yeah. nice and tall. Yeah. Shoulders back and down, with cage is lifted. I'm going to drop the chin and I'm going to go into a half a roll back. Yeah, a little half a roll back. And as I come up to the top, I come up nice and tall again. Walk through. So thinking about a speed curve and then lift to the top. And again, into the C curve and then lift to the top. I'm going to face you. Right, so into the C curve and then lift to the top. And again, one more time. Take the arms away and give me a bow and arrow on the right. So taking it back to the elbow and up, yeah? So you're going to keep the elbow nice and close to the body, right? And again, so half a roll back, but you're taking it into that rotation. 
through that waste and again back again. Okay, this, this time, so open out your right arm as you go back. Open it out. Nice and slow. Lovely. Well done. Excellent. Well done. Okay, you can make this just a little bit harder. Let's take both arms out. It's really going to pull on those abdominals. Okay? And then we push the center. Again. Open. And lift the center. Two more. Open the back. And lift the center. One more time. And lift the center. Take your hands just underneath. This is going to be two of everything. Half a roll back. And one more. And then we're going to go into our bow and arrow. Okay, so bow and arrow. Down onto the right. And then down. I'm going to open single arms. So I'm going to go open on right. And then I'm going to open on left. And then I'm going to take both together. I'm going to open. Open the chest. Close it through. Oh, this is the hardest one. Open. Close. Ladies, lengthen the legs away from you and then just push forward. So coming forward towards me. So you don't if I'm holding onto your hands and we're pulling with one another. Okay. Bring it back and through. Open up the legs. The legs nice and wide. If you can't come this wide, that doesn't matter. You can do them narrow, right? It's more comfortable than bending your knees. Okay, like this. Yeah. All right, we're going to do the saw, the Joseph Martin saw. I'm going to open my arms and I'm just going to take my uh, right arm over. I'm going to take it over to the left foot and then I take my um, left arm back yeah. and then I come to the center. Yeah. Then I do the other side. So I come over to them, chopping, pouring the foot off, and then center. Yeah, and again, over and center. So we're rotating through the spine. The bones are down and stretching through that lower back as well. Okay. From this position, bring your arms forward, take them down, and then walk them away from you. Okay. Fly them away. There, your spine stretch. Bring the hands back in or slide them back in. Bringing the feet together, soles of the feet together. Knees are bent. And I want you to press down on the inside. Okay. Just opening the hips even further. Yeah. Hold that there. Nice deep breath. So take the breath into the stretch. In the muscle fibers, lengthen, healthy, and come up to the top, make your right hand down, and then lift over, and then the other side. Bring it around. So now I want you to come off your other side, yeah? Make sure you're working the other side. Bringing your legs, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Yeah, bring your legs around, placing your head onto your bicep. Take your feet away from the mat, then open and close. We're going to straight into our plan. Then we can do a check as we're doing it. Yeah, hips to stack on top of one another. Open and close. Lovely. And then take your palm away. It's the core muscles work a little bit harder. Now here you've got more support, haven't you? And then take it away. Obviously, if you don't have to, you get it down to two more. We're going to open and close the last time. And then open and close. Remember, as you open, you're not rotating that hip back. Close it, take the feet down, and then extend the top leg. Flex the foot, and then lift the lower one. And now I want you to ask yourself, does that feel any different on this side as you abduct away 
to the other side. So if you've got a more arranged movement here, so the leg's working, this leg working better than the other side, yeah. so you're not able to go as high on this side as the other. If you've got any discomfort around the hip. So again, keep asking yourself, asking your body to keep back. That foot flexed. By keeping the foot flexed, we engage the front of the thighs. Four muscles that attach into the knee. We've got the knee issues. This muscle here, four muscles make up the quadriceps. Um, um, could possibly be weak. So there may not be anything wrong with the knee, but this is weak. Yeah. All right, let's point, bring it round, and then flex and take it back. So remember, you take it back as far as you can. It has room. So point, flex, and then take it back. And again, point, flex, and take it back. That means two more. Point, flex, take it back. One more. Point, flex, and take it back. Hold it here, and then just circle. Circle around. So that's any way that you want to, ladies, any way. Three, four. Then the other way around. Round. Three. What's in it for? It's all a man from the window. Four. Okay. All right, guys. They sat down. They sit in front of you. Now lift up from here. Yeah. So just up to this position. Put your shoulder in line with the elbow. Remember, before we even lift the hips away, you don't have to. Just go to very much to the inner side plank. The weight is down. Just lifting that waist away. Yeah. More space here for the mat. Okay. Then I can come up. I'm just going to lift that. And there we go. Waist away from the mat. Weight through my shoulder and also into my knee and my lower body. Then I'm going to extend the top leg. Now you can leave it down if you want to, or if not, you can lift it lower. Take the arm away so the leg has got plenty of room to lift the lower. We're going to come all the way down. Close that in. Slowly bring it down. And now roll over onto your back. Down. And this can down to the mat. Yeah? Down to the mat. Keep your feet in towards your glutes. Yeah? We go for a hip flex. We're going to a bridge position, shoulder bridge. Before we do, I just want you to tilt the pelvis forward back. Remember when we were standing at the very beginning, I asked you to go anterior tilt and then a posterior tilt. Anterior and posterior. Again, standing or lying, you'll need to find that new position and it is easier lying down or you can find it. So we're going to go into an A, then we're going to go into there, okay. transition. Look slight arch there. Hip bones square up to the ceiling. Okay. Then I'm going to tilt my pelvis again, and I'm going to lift up. So I'm coming up into a bridge position of hip flexors. There we go. These are tight. These can be really tight, which we then can pull on our lower back. A nice stretch there. Okay. Then just lower it down just a little bit, not too far, and then pop it back up again. And again, down, and then lift it up. So we're doing a shoulder bridge for stretch reasons. It is a strengthening, it's strengthening the glutes, shoulder stability, but I also want it for this hip flexor. So all of you to come up more you feel it through the front. So if you've had a week, ladies, of doing a lot of sitting down, um, you're working, you're in an office, you sit down a lot, you're in a lot of driving, these can become really short. Lovely to do some active stretching. So rather than just holding the stretch, this position, you actively work through it. And that's why I love doing the bridge. And then two more. 
Se nos va a picar muy, muy, ya no. Mirad, como falta el dedo. And now bring out the slab your body. And now turn into the mouth. Bring your knees into your chest. With a bit more hug. Now, rather than just bring them in, hold them, lift up. Yeah, if you notice my glutes are just slightly coming away from the mat. So it's like I'm going into a little ball. So I'm keeping my head and shoulders down. So I'm going to feel the stretch further into my lower back. Here, slight stretch. Here, much deeper. Take your right leg down and extend your left leg up to the ceiling. Leg nice and straight, and then bring that leg in towards you. So, hamstring stretch, thigh in towards you. Make sure the leg is nice and full. Okay, the four muscles here that make up the quadriceps, three that make up the hamstring. I won't name them all because you just don't want to remember. But they all go yeah, on the pelvis, base of the pelvis, and then just behind the knee, they insert. So if you're in this position, semi position, semi bent position, you're not going to get them. Yes, yeah, swap sides. So take that down, bring that in. Bring that. So, ladies, if you do a lot of running, so Steph doing running is a major stretch that runners should be doing. Yeah, if running or, or power walking or walking you know, at a reasonable pace. These hamstrings take an awful lot of load. So, every time you strike the ground, this is the muscle takes the impact first. So lovely long stretch. Okay, glute stretch. I'm gonna take that ankle over onto my knee. I'm gonna take my hands through, I'm gonna catch and then just take it there. Okay. So leg is open. So rather than this, yeah, think about leg open allowing the glute to relax. So really feeling that into whether you're stretching right or left. Okay, I'm just going to release my hands. We're going to take it down, get across the other ankle. Then I'm going to scoop my hands through, catch my thigh and then hold it there. And some of you, if you're strong enough, you may not need to use your arms. You can just use it from this position, yeah? So totally up to you. Just breathe, lovely deep breaths. Go back to your nasal breathing. Three, two, deep breath down, deep the leg away. Lengthen the legs away from you, ladies, and stretch as far as you can into that full body stretch. Again, think about breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Taking the air into your lungs. And always think about the natural part, yeah, the outside into the rib cage. So you must imagine your ribs expanding. Three, two, okay. Bring the arms over, bring the knees in, and we're going to roll up. So coming away from the mat, inhale, exhale, and then roll it. Okay, coming into a mermaid position, just like a zigzag, facing your right arm down, and then your left arm over. And then the other side. Okay, you'll change it around. Over and through. Okay, and then I'm gonna place my left hand down. And then my right arm over, and then my right arm down, and then my left arm. Okay. If your hands behind you, bring your feet just 
bit further and further hip business and just side to side, a hip release. So your windscreen wipers over to your right and then to left. One more time. And now then to go right there, you're almost exaggerated, yeah? And then over to the other side. And then spin it up. Ladies, bring your legs away from you. Take your arms up and through. Breathe in and breathe out. So one more time, come up and through. Breathe it in and breathe out. Well done, ladies. Thank you very much for our sculpt and stretch session.